Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Mac Danzig. He's got a fight coming up at UFC on Versus 6. That's in about a month. And uh, um, you're taking on... Uh, Matt Wyman. Matt Wyman. Matt Wyman. <laughs> I want to say Jim Miller because I want you to have another chance at that, at that bloody head. But uh, <laughs> this is a rematch for you. And talk to me about why, why you really want this rematch. Well, I, I mean, I, I didn't get a chance to fight him the first time. Um, I was trying to fight, and then uh, the referee stopped it. The referee made an honest mistake. You know, it's not easy making those calls and those split-second decisions. And, uh, you know, I think Eve Levine's a good ref. I mm -hmm. think he just he just messed up. You know, he even apologized to me afterwards, and it's all good. I, I don't hold any grudges, but uh, unfortunately it, it went against me, and, and um you know, I was in a position where I was okay. It was a bad position, yeah. but um, I I had escaped the the choke, and um, you know, I, I'm sure Wyman wants to do it again because I'm sure he's confident and thinks that that he can do well. And um, I just want a, a fair fair shot at the fight. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and we should kind of back it up for people. They 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 ruled it a technical submission. Yeah, yeah, because uh, what happened was, uh, you know, I, I made a mistake. He went for a guillotine. And uh, I ended up having to roll and give up top position to yeah. get out of it. And uh, he had a good position. And once once I got there, I got myself out of the choke. But he was still squeezing on my head and holding on to it. So I was like, all right, well, as soon as he lets go, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to escape the, the mount because this is a bad position. And I'm just waiting for him to let go. And then uh, the referee stopped the fight. And I'm like, whoa, I'm what's fine. going on? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's... Did he it, think that you would... Go, I mean, did you look like you had gone limp or did you look like... I don't know because my, my left arm was pushing on, on his uh, knee and it was like statically like a stiff arm pushing on his knee. And <laughs> right. The ref grabbed my arm and like kind of like went to shake it the way you would someone that yeah, has like right, a, exactly, a limp right, arm right, right. and um, you know I didn't I didn't budget I kept pushing and and then he just immediately stopped he just <sighs> yeah. he just hesitated and then right. made the wrong call and it happens He's no it does well and it's yeah. true because I that's why I say sometimes you watch a fight and you see you see the guy who's like getting choked in the right, thumbs up right, or, right, right, you know right. something like that because you, you feel like yeah, I mean it is yeah. a precarious position for you definitely but he apologized Eve did yeah he did yeah he, he felt really bad about it he apologized in in the ring right after it happened because yeah. he realized as soon as he stopped it that I was okay and then he went back to the locker room afterwards and he and I have a have a you know a, a, a cool you know relationship yeah. like when I see him everything's cool so yeah I don't not mad at, at him or anything like that it's not it's not pro wrestling I'm not right, gonna right. go yeah, and yeah, hit yeah, the right, ref right. or anything so, it is unfortunate yeah. though that they can't that there can't be a rule where the refs like my bad uh, my bad rule I know, you know what I mean? where I you know. can just pick it up from I know or they they have like a replay yeah, thing yeah. where it's like oh wait a minute he 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 didn't tap. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. that'd be nice yeah I'll but so like. how do you think you've improved uh, since the first time you guys fought um, I think more than anything else, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, and so like the skills, I always try to improve in, in any holes in my game that I have. But I feel like mentally, I've I've improved the most because I, I I'm older now, and um, I just went through a little stage. Uh, like right around the, the the time that that fight happened, mm -hmm. afterwards I went through a stage where I just really secured, um, you know, in my head like the reason why I'm doing this and why I like doing it, and found um, I don't know, found my peace with fighting and and uh, found my motivation, and um, you know, I'm I'm just uh, I think mentally a much stronger fighter, which is a huge advantage. Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting thing to say that you made your peace with fighting. What what, yeah. what were you conflicted about? I think, um, well, I, I, just like a lot of fighters do, I put a lot of pressure on myself. And, um, you know, when you do that and you think that, you know, people expect a lot out of you and you expect a lot out of yourself, instead of um, being excited and, and willing to compete and looking forward to that competition, you end up uh, just worrying about winning or losing. And then when that happens, then that just snowballs and takes you into a completely different direction as far as what you need to be focused on mentally and emotionally. And um, that's just something that I've finally fixed. And, uh, 
it took you know having some bad spots in my career in order to fix that but now I'm there and and uh, you know there's no looking back I feel good so well you did have at one point a three fight yeah. losing streak yeah, right yeah, yeah. which a is amazing that you didn't get caught <laughs> <laughs> I guess winning tough will do that for you it gives you like a little asterisk next well, they to, got, like, the, no, I, mean, I don't think so the no? guys I fought were all tough yeah and, and Clay Guido was it was a it was a split decision loss that was like like you know he basically just stalled to get that win and yeah. they noticed that the Josh Neer fight was fight of the night right and I did I did lose that fight in the second round but it was fight of the night and then Jim Miller fight was was a close back and forth fight and and like I mean dude is is one of the baddest guys at Absolutely. 155 so I think they just recognized it wasn't like I was going out there and you know like doing silly things or or like being you know, like just having like poor performances where sure. obviously, you know, and I made weight every time, right, which right. helps. I did mention that you won the Ultimate Fighter, um, season six. How do you how do you think that, you know, boosted your career? Obviously, it, it gave you a name right away. I mean, yeah. but there's always that. Um, Thing of well, the winners should do well, or are right. the winners really good? And so I yeah, feel like you know, yeah. for the for the for the tough winners, they actually kind of have an extra thing to prove every time they go out of. Yeah, fight. yeah, and I think like uh, I don't know, I I, I kind of asked for the tougher fights right out of of the gate after winning that. Um, a lot of the guys that won kind of got easier fights. Yeah. Um, and then um, you know, like, the, and the, and that happens, and, and and I don't mind, and I I would rather fight and lose to, you know, someone like Jim Miller than you know beat some guy who's a debut guy in the UFC right. who only has five fights and no one's ever heard of him just to like try to pad my record. So um, you know, yeah, I fought some tough guys, and I mean, like, my first fight out after winning the finale was Mark Bocek. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, I, I haven't gotten in any really easy fights in the UFC, and it's uh, it's just like, you know, sometimes you do feel like there's that pressure there that you got to prove yourself. But my season of the Ultimate Fighter was so long ago now that like it's hardly yeah. it's it's not talked about as much. Before that's like that's what defined me. Like everyone was always like you know asking me about the show, and it was like. That that was the definition of me. Was sure. you're the you're the ultimate fighter champion. Now that's um, there's much less emphasis on that, and so it's pretty it's 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 pretty easy for me now to just step forward and just be a regular fighter in the UFC than than uh, having that pressure. Yeah. So it's hard not to look at, at your forehead there. There's there's yeah. is that is that in fact Jim Miller right there? Which one? The, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, it's a good one to remember. Yeah, no, yeah. we might have been close for that. What, um, you know, for people who maybe didn't see that fight, that was was it literally the bloodiest fight in, in the I, bloodiest fight in UFC history? I um, think so. I think uh, before that, uh, like Jay Haran had the yes. crowd for his fight with uh, Jonathan Goulet. Right. Yeah, and that, yeah. that canvas is hanging at Extreme yeah, Couture, exactly. as, you, as you obviously well know. Yep, we talked yep. to Jay about that. He's like, yeah, that's my blood all over yeah. there. Um, and he, uh, you know, he's actually quite proud of it, even though he lost that fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, what does that do to you in the middle of a fight? I know they, you know, say that, okay, something's when you see blood, you know, you know. Okay, I got to turn it on now. Yeah. Get some pressure. I mean, but you were you, that was a geyser. That was just. Yeah. I mean, it, it, so what does that do to you when you're in the middle of a fight and you? At first, I'm sure probably go, "Who's is it? Mine or his?" Then you look at right. his and you go, oh, "Shoot, well, <laughs> it's not his." Shoot. Yeah, no, I, I actually knew it was mine because yeah. of the, the elbow that he cut me with. Like as soon as he hit me with the elbow, I I hadn't hit him with anything else. He was on top. He right. hit me with the elbow, and then it just started yeah, coming down. Yeah. And then as we scrambled and as I stood up. I saw it just oh squirting out of my head, and um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I mean, it, yeah. the, I lost so much blood in that in that fight. It it was like, it was the feeling of blood loss actually right. started to take a toll on on like the way I felt. Like yeah. I felt lightheaded and stuff. I lost a lot. I mean, there was blood everywhere. Oh. They had really had to clean that up. So um, it was it, it was kind of rough, but I just tried to to soldier through it. And you know, he had just had really good wrestling. Yeah. And that, that was his wrestling timing was uh, was on on he was on top of his game with that that night and I wasn't at the top of my game with my defense obviously right. and uh, I had some moments in the fight but they were like 
too d too late, you know, in the rounds to 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 really do anything with. So, you know, it, it is what it is. But um, you know, I, I can look back on the fight and and just say, you know, like yeah, it sucks that I <laughs> I got cut like that and everything, and that I lost. But uh, I, I'm not I'm not upset about it. It was it was cool. He's a, he's a good guy, tough yeah. fighter. So um, you know, move on. Just. Just another another fight in the career, you know. <laughs> right. Jack, thanks for thanks for letting us uh, you know talk to you and, and, oh, and yeah. you know appreciate your time and thanks um, for having me. you're looking good, you know, fight wise. PKG guys are treating you well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these guys are uh, really nice to me. <laughs> They're uh, only punching me in the face, you know, a couple hundred times a day. So <laughs> yeah, no, it's great here. So uh, yeah, it's a good good time to be here. Good training camp, good training partners, and uh, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to the fight. Nice, cool. Thanks. All right, thanks a lot. What's up, everyone? This is Mac Danzig, and you're watching MMA Heat.